near the side. Down in order go the Mets. They trail it here six to four. Addison Reed enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 43. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jamie Rosario. A hit in two tries so far. Leading off for the Rockies, Patrick Jamie Rosario. Shot back up the middle. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Well, there's another line drive single to start the inning here in the middle innings. I the tell you what, they nine. are swinging the best. They, they've had a great DJ. game plan. They've been Mom aggressive. They've laid off of balls. They've hit strikes. Everything you want, and they're executing to a tee. Into the box, D.J. LeMayhew, and he puts it on the ground to second. The second for one, on to first, and they get them both. Striding in once again, Rymel Tapia. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Oh, he saw that change up really nice. He just wasn't able to keep it fair. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. And that is in there for a two-out base knock. So that knock keeps the bottom of the sixth inning hot. Daniel Moya will stand in now as we take you back to the very first inning as he got him going early. A grand slam right out of the gates. Coming here it is. Runners off for second. Drilled right back up the middle. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Welcome back to Coors Field here in Denver. On to the seventh now in game three, but before it gets underway, we take a look at our game summary through the first six. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's one and oh. Well, with both starters out now, and we got a really good game here. It's clearly a bullpen game, but this is why it's so important to have that depth in your pen because you're going to run into a lot of games like this. And he takes a called strike two. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And a heck of an effort over there at first, but it'll be for naught if this is a foul ball. And here's a slider strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Digging in once again, Gavin Cicchini. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. It's a swinging bunt up the line. Foul ball, however, strike one. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Another one sent foul. The 0-2 once more. Boy, and he rips this ball down the left field line. Ah, but he just missed his extra base. And this will be fouled away. This has turned into quite an at-bat. That's five foul balls. He's seen a lot of pitches. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Ready once again, Keith Alonso. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like he would really. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Tapia racing back. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. Score remains steady at six to four. Dylan Batensis gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Dylan Batensis. Eli Ojeda is up off the Number bench as he'll be asked to get something started Eli in the home Ojeda. half of the seventh.
swing and a little blooper to center. Trout coming on. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. The right fielder number 66. Ready Yassiel for another chance. Puig. Yasiel Puig. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. On the move is Trout. He can't get there in time, and now it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. The shortstop at Palenka. In now, Pat Valaika. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. And this is going to find the gap for his third hit of the afternoon. This one for extra bases. In quickly with it is Trout, and that'll hold the runner at third base. Wow, throw a 10 over it and bring out the clown. <laughs> Looked like a three ring circus out there. One outfielder mistimes his jump, and the ball gets past him. His buddy has to back him up and get the ball in. A good thing, too. Otherwise, it could have been a triple or even an inside the parker. Digging in to try it again, Ralph Kiner. He flew out in his last at bat. And there's ball four now, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force at the plate is in order. Hey, these guys on defense are still within striking distance, but after that walk, one swing of the bat could really blow this thing wide open. Into the box now, Manuel Diaz. He's ready. Here's the first offering. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Boy, it's really fun for me watching this vet out there battling in this tough spot. We've seen him in jams like this many times before, so he has plenty of experience to be able to get out of these kind of jams. And he's thinking more about that than the task at hand, which is getting this hitter out. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Trout going back to the track. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. In the score, the runner from third. That was a really tough play, so we want to take another look at it with show track. He got a solid read off the bat. The route efficiency was good, and he ended up covering more than 120 feet to make that play. Really remarkable. Standing in now. Jamie Rosario as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Tance is set. Here it is on one and oh. Pitch swung on and missed. The and he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Couple of hits lead to one in the inning for Colorado. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Rockies seven and the Mets four.